Good morning guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Hope everyone is doing well. It's currently about 8.50 in the morning, so pretty slow start to the day. I woke up and I just started watching a load of YouTube videos and then one video led to the other and then before I knew it, it was like 8.30. So probably not the best thing to do as soon as you wake up, kind of like scrolling on Instagram. But yeah, we're looking after Mr. Kobe for a couple of days. Do you wanna say hello to the camera, Mr. Kobe? Here's Mr. Kobe with his little ball. I'm gonna take him for a walk so he probably needs to go for a little wee. And then later on today, I'm gonna to hit a chest workout to try and really grow that chest muscles. I weighed in at 82.4 kgs this morning, which is pretty good, I'm pretty happy. Um, I'm, I wanna lose weight fairly slowly to try and maintain as much muscle mass as possible and also keep my strength really high. And also in my previous video, I mentioned that I'm going somewhere really exciting and I'm going to Hong Kong on Saturday. Um, I'm from Hong Kong, uh, well, I was born in the UK, but my parents are from Hong Kong. So it's always good to go back because I've got a lo load of family there, uh, my grandma, and also it's just, there's something nice about being surrounded with your own people, which is quite comforting. Um, so I'm really looking forward to going there and bringing you guys along with me. Kobe, do you want to go for a walk? Do you go for a walk? Okay, let's go for a walk. Yeah. on this walk I was like why are my shoes like falling off all the time and I forgot I was wearing Crocs and I hadn't even put them in sports mode. So this is my first meal of the day. At the moment, I'm not really eating breakfast, so just so that I can reduce the number of calories that I have uh, overall in the day, it's just lose a bit of that weight. Uh, but we do have this really nice chicken korma from Prep Kitchen, which they uh, sponsor me kind of. They send me like 10 meals a week and I just create some content for them. The thing that I really like about Prep Kitchen is that they have this barcode and you can actually scan it using MyFitnessPal or any other calorie tracking apps and it will bring up all of the nutritional value for you to just input into your application, which is a pretty neat feature. So I'm not sure if you can see that properly, but this meal has 649 calories, 48 grams of carbs, 23 grams of fat and 60 grams of protein. So yeah, the 60 grams of protein is actually very high compared to a lot of other meal prep companies that I have seen. Uh, these are lower carb muscle gain type meals, so it's pretty cool. I think if you're one of those people that is really busy during the day or during the week and you do struggle to you know, get your meals in properly or be able to spend the time to cook, I would recommend just going on to a meal prep. It doesn't have to be this one, it could just be any one that you like. Uh, but it really does help sort of take away that burden of having to eat healthy food and um, having to and, and the time and effort it does take to cook as well.
Okay, so it's time to hit the gym, just having a little pre-workout at the moment. I'm just, uh, it's like sometimes I just feel like I'm relying on pre-workout a little bit too much, but I just feel like I'm just so tired every time I finish work and I feel like I just need something to maybe give me a bit of energy. It could even be a placebo effect as well, who knows, but I feel like anything that kind of helps enable you to push your workouts, I think it's, it's okay. But anyway, we're gonna to go to the gym. Hopefully it's not gonna to be too busy there because I don't normally go to Muscle Works on a Wednesday to do chest. Um, and hopefully I can bring this camera around and film. But if not, uh, I'll try and do some phone stuff. So I did manage to film my workout, which I'm very lucky to. Sometimes I feel a bit embarrassed filming in a busier gym just because I feel that people might judge me, but it's not the case here. I think it's just, you know, me being a little bit insecure. But anyway, I uh, started off the workouts with a flat bar bench press. Um, you know, very standard really. I think I personally like to do compound movements at the beginning and to really prioritize a bit of free weights first while your body is quite fresh. Uh, I do like to use free weights because I feel like you're working a lot of different muscle groups but also you're, you're practicing the balance and stability of your joints as well which will really help translate into everyday life. Uh, but my training philosophy is pretty simple, you know, you know I'm training to failure or one rep shy of failure most of my sets. Uh, I work in a reverse pyramid style, so I go very heavy on the first rep and then reduce the weight and increase the reps as the sets go on. I am a very firm believer that you have to lift very heavy in order to give your muscles a reason to grow or to stay the same size. But I also do like to feel that mind-muscle connection as well, which is why I will reduce the weight slightly and increase the reps. Um, you know, I'm really working on my shoulders, so doing a lot of side lateral raises. You know, I think as I get leaner, I would like my shoulders to pop a little bit more. And here is sort of the last movement, I believe, this chest fly. And one tip here is to bring your elbows together rather than your wrists and hands. And trust me, you can really feel that chest working when you bring those elbows together. And this is the physique update, weighing around 82, 83 kilos here. Still don't really know how to pose though. Okay, so I've just got back from the gym and we have hit 20,000 subscribers and I just don't even know where to begin and all I can do is just express how grateful I am to all of you guys for tuning in and watching all of my YouTube videos from the beginning and yeah, I just didn't even know that this day would come so soon either because last year in June, I posted my first proper YouTube video and I was following this YouTuber at the time called Ali Abdul and he mentioned that it took him 52 videos to hit a thousand subscribers. So in my mind, I was like, you know what, I'm going to post one video every single week and you know, if I get close to a thousand subscribers in a year, then maybe I have potential to continue doing it. I've always been a person that was never really that confident in my ability to do anything. When I was 20, when I was 20 or like 19 years old, yeah, 19 years old, um, I first started going to the gym. Uh, I apologize to people who have heard this story, you know, over and over again, but to the new guys, um, you know, I was 19 when I first started going to the gym and I remember watching a load of fitness YouTubers at the time like Christian Guzman and there was just something about their vlogs that was very comforting to someone like myself who was starting out with my fitness journey and when I'd cook and have a nap and, you know, do uni work, I'd put them on and it felt like I kind of had a friend with me and I really liked that and I kind of wanted to do that for other people as well. But I never really had the balls at the time. I cared about what people would think of me, blah, blah, blah. Um, and fast forward six years, I guess I just wasn't really happy in the position that I was with my corporate job and everything. 
I just wasn't happy on the weekends when I was resting because I knew that I'd have to go back and do that full-time job. Um, and it got to a point where I was so desperate to find something different that I was like, you know what, maybe I'll give it a go. Maybe I'll try documenting my fitness journey on Instagram and see what happens. And, you know, it did go somewhere. And then I started YouTube and I guess here we are. And I guess what I'm trying to say is that, you know, if you have a dream that you want to do, like whether that's YouTube or maybe your own business, you just have to start because you never know what could happen. I'm not saying my story is like the most inspirational story ever, but I kind of just want that to be in a kind of like an example to show that it is very possible. Um, you know, it hasn't been easy at all, by all means. Like I've made a lot of sacrifices in terms of, you know, my career. You know, it's very difficult to see people that, you know, joined with you on a graduate scheme get promoted very quickly or people who joined even like a few years after you get more senior than you. I've sacrificed a lot of friendships, relationships, you know, time with my girlfriend. Shout out to her. She's been so supportive over the last two years. You know, without her, I wouldn't have had, you know, the time to create videos, to film. Um, you know, she hasn't been demanding at all. So I'm just so grateful for her as well. And yeah, to you guys, you know, thank you just, just so much because, you know, I'm finally starting to see some sort of return on the, the investment over the last two years. Um, and I guess this is only the beginning as well. So I just want to say a big thank you once again, you know, chase your dreams because you don't want to get to, you know, 40 years old and look back and say, you know, what if, you know, it sounds very cliche, but it's, it's, it's very true as well. Like you don't want to live life like that. So yeah, maybe I'm rambling a bit as well. Um, but yeah, appreciate all of you guys. You know, thank you so much for the support. If you're new here as well, you know, hit that subscribe button. Why not? Um, and yeah, let's continue with the vlog. probably one of the worst flights I've had in my life just because the turbulence was just so bad and it was like you know the turbulence was just so heavy and the plane like drops and you feel like you're about to fall out of the sky that's kind of how it felt and I wouldn't say I'm a nervous or like a, I'm scared of flying but when there's turbulence like that I do get pretty nervous didn't really manage to get much sleep, probably like three hours, uh, but I got quite a bit of editing done um, and also watched a few things like Friends and also Aquaman 2, which wasn't even that great, I don't think. But right now, I need to go and get a SIM card with data, and I think this is a pretty good shop, uh, this global exchange. So if you ever do come to Hong Kong, just turn right outside of the arrivals thing and I think you can get 80 gigs for like less than nine pounds so that's pretty good sim card sorted see 88 Hong Kong dollars for 80 gigabytes which is pretty decent to be honest 
and between the hours of 11 p.m. and at 7 a.m. you also get unlimited data as well. So I guess I'll be uploading my YouTube videos during that time. Oh, I'm really not feeling well at all. I literally was about to be sick about a few seconds ago. <laughs> yeah, it was that landing for me. When we were coming in, it was like, I was literally watching the whole altitude slowly go down. I was like counting in my head. I was like, oh, 4,000 meters, 3,980 meters, 3,960 meters. And I was like closing my eyes, trying not to think. Yeah, man. Anyway, let's catch the bus back to my grandma's. Good afternoon guys, it's currently 3.50 in the afternoon and I slept for a very long time. I woke up at around 1.30 uh, today and then I had my grandma like banging on the door like, lunch time, lunch time. I was like, yeah, coming, coming. Um, but I definitely needed that sleep. Um, you know, I only slept around two to three hours on the plane, but I didn't want to sleep more even though I was so tired because, well, firstly, I couldn't really sleep because my heart rate was so high because there was so much turbulence and I was getting quite nervous. Uh, but secondly, um, I always get really jet lagged whenever I come to Hong Kong. and I don't go to sleep until around three, four a.m. usually, um, but, I decided I'm just going to stay awake the whole time so then I can go to bed at a reasonable time like 10, 11 p.m. which is what I did yesterday. So I'm feeling quite good, honestly. Still a little bit tired, but feeling good. So yeah, I am working from home here, but I am working UK time. So I believe I will be starting work around 4 p.m. Hong Kong time, which means that I'll have the whole morning to do whatever I want really. First things first, I do need to go and find a gym that's quite important i need to keep up with the training but also i get to go and do a lot more touristy stuff which i'll bring you guys along with me i'll go into you know the center of hong kong the financy area you know i want to go hiking a bit more so i'll bring you guys along for that and yeah just chilling with my grandma see family friends and yeah that's about it really i think the purpose of this trip mainly was just to come here just to chill change of environment uh, film some cool content as well so that's sort of the plan for the next couple weeks I think I'll end the vlog here as well uh, just because I'm pretty tired I do need to upload this as well I'm not sure how fast the upload speed is for my YouTube videos my YouTube videos are normally around like 30 gigabytes and I think upload speed is quite hit and miss um, using the um, sim card that I bought so I'm going to upload that as soon as possible. Um, but the next few vlogs will be a lot of Hong Kong touristy stuff as well as, you know, more gym content, maybe do a bit of running as well, just because there's a nice river nearby that I can do that. And maybe some calisthenics because I do want to get into that. Maybe I'll try and do a, and learn how to do a muscle up as well. Uh, but with that being said, Thank you so much. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. It means so much to me. And I will see you in the next video.